Um, the first thing I do is... Which program are you using? Oh, uh, I use GIMP. It's, um, it's a free software. It's exactly like uh, Photoshop. I start off with um, a pen, pencil, and uh, I do a rough, just a rough uh, drawing first. Just like, um, like these are hills, I guess. I remember we lived in a, in a cabin. It was very nice. It, there was my mom and dad, and my brother was born when I was just about four years old. Uh, there was my grandma and grandpa, and so I had a lot of uh, cousins that I took as my siblings. My uncle was a fiddler, and even as we were traveling to here, we'd clear a little spot, they'd clear a spot somewhere, and he'd start fit, playing the fiddle, and my uncles would dance with us. I remember my grandma and grandpa would sit there, make a fire, and we'd sit around and listen to their stories. What were some of the folklore, the stories they told you about Northern Lights and all that? They told us that uh, we were not to whistle at them, not to make fun of them, because they could come down and really, really scare us because they were spirits mm. dancing up there. I already, uh, I already did her already, so she's already good to go. Okay. Um, I, it was the same process too, that I'm doing now. Okay. But um, that's what the finished pro um, finished. Oh, okay. The project or the finished. finished yeah. Project. Uh, my dad was a trapper. Uh, he seemed like he was gone for a long, a long time, like maybe two, three months or or something. I think he might have had. They must have had a cabin, and uh, they went by a dog team. They each had like four or five dogs. I think he went setting snares. Oh, okay. And then every other day he would go back on his line and go check in for whatever he caught. Then he brought, he would bring it back to his uh, his cabin. Mm -hmm. In the spring, he went uh, beaver hunting. My mom went to the bush and went setting up snares. And she would catch uh, rabbits. Mm. And she would bring them home and they would, you know, clean them up, pick them up. And they were delicious. Mm. My mm. grandma would make soup, you know, and stew. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we got moose meat, and that they, of course, cut it all up, and they would make dry meat, mm. cut thinly, mm -hmm. and they made these racks, made a fire, and not a, a large fire, but mostly a low burning fire with a lot of smoke, and they would keep turning this meat, and it would be really, really good. And they took the fur off, and then they had put up poles like that and they stretched the hide. And then of course, when it's all ready, then they cut it up, made moccasins, mucklucks, they mm. made uh, gloves, mm. they made mitts out of it. Mm. Whenever she got material, of course, she would make uh, shirts, dresses. And then she used a lot of uh, flower sacks and that she would make that she could make shirts out of. My grandma did the knitting. Mm -hmm. My my mom knit knit some too, but she was in right into it. She was more into sewing. Mm. She knit socks for us and mitten. She even knitted uh, gloves. The reason I choose red is because it's easier to see okay. when I trace over it. Okay. Because what I do now is I grab a paths tool. Uh huh. And then basically I just go like this. And then, see, and then I just go like that. And then, like this. So basically what this does is it creates a finer detail version. We did everything with willows and trees. Mm -hmm. Like if we had, we always had rope, but uh, there were two trees somewhere. My dad would uh, tie one, you know, tie a rope between the two, and then we'd have a swing. And then even when we went picking berries, and we had a small baby, he would make a, a swing there too. And they oh. ma made uh, canoes, mm. little canoes, mm. because we had to cross river, little rivers. Yeah. And in the winter too, you said your family traveled by caboose? Caboose, yeah. Oh, okay. That is a, like a sleigh with a box, mm -hmm. and on top of it was a tarp. And that's, that's how we traveled when we lived like, say, 10 miles from here. Mm -hmm. 
and to whatever event was happening over here. Mm. That's how we traveled. And then, see, it oh. just creates the, a better oh. version of it. And that's basically the process I do for all of the drawings, just because okay. it makes it look better. And you said it's layered. Yeah, and it's layered too, so there's different, like, all kinds of layers. Oh, okay. So this is, like, grandma, and then there's, like, the text. Oh, I see. So they're all different layers, just so in case you mess up on something, you don't have to erase around everything. We said our prayers every every evening before going to bed. Mm -hmm. We'd kneel down by the bed, mm -hmm. and we would pray, and we would attend church. Mm -hmm. And all the women wore dresses and had to cover their hair, heads. Like the Mass was said set, set in Latin, and the, the priest didn't face the, the people. He faced the altar. So how long does each picture take? Um, it depends on what the drawing asks for. Mm -hmm. Some of them are very detailed and specific mm -hmm. and like um, <laughs> need a lot. Mm -hmm. And some are more simple, so it just depends. But usually two hours to do one. There's, it's been challenging too, but it, for the most part, it's been fun because I've learned a lot too oh, okay. from the different like well, uh, culture, from my culture, Métis culture. So I've actually learned quite a bit too. So oh, good. It's been fun, yeah. I see that you're wearing your sash. What does that mean to you? I wear it with pride. It means I'm a Métis, and that the Métis have uh, come up from the time that I was young till now. I think what was taken away from us, we're taking it back. They're now uh, more educated than we were. They've got more uh, available to them. And, uh, and so uh, they're not gonna have as hard a time as we did.